What's up, everybody? Fravis here with another episode of Magic Tools Battle for Zendikar. Uh, I know last episode I said I'd, I'd get right to it. Uh, the truth is I lied. I didn't. I did not do that. But I did end up getting uh, a ton of coins. Check it out. 950. I did not buy these. These were given to me from the lovely, lovely community. So we are going to open up some packs immediately before we start playing and seeing if I get those just chase snapping gnarlids because that is really, really what I'm after. Please. Oh God! All right, all right. We got we got a few more shots. We got a few more. Not not just two. We got we got a couple more. I totally missed it. Oh no, no. Why? Okay. Well, maybe maybe that was a snapping gnarlid. Maybe maybe we actually have three now. Maybe. Well, maybe there was two snapping gnarlids in there. Oh come on. Well, from beyond isn't bad. I like from beyond. That's a that's a that's a good card. I can handle that. No Narlids at all? Are you kidding? Come on, man. You're killing me here. Alright, the last two. The last two. Oh, man. Come on, come on, come on. From Beyond's not bad. I, I, I don't believe this. Like, I mean, Natural Connection isn't bad. I mean, I'm getting some decent lands. Come on, please. Snapping Narlid. Oh! That my heart is hurting real bad right now, guys. Let's see if I got it. I mean, maybe I did. Maybe, 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 I, maybe I'm lucky. You know, you, you don't, you don't know, you don't know. Maybe I did. Where, where you at, Snapper? Come on, Snappy Snaps. Oh man, where do they stick it? Is this alphabetical? It looks alphabetical. Okay, so Snapping Nart would be at the endish. One, one freaking copy. God. Ah, uh, all right, all right. Well, let's let's get in there. Let's start beating some opponents with uh, with with our anger deck, with our with the deck from the dark side, the deck that I had to move the mic there. The deck that oh, I forgot that guy's name. I saw the new Star Wars movie, but I forgot the bad guy's name. So you know the bad guy. <clears throat> The bad guy, you know. No spoilers on this channel. Don't worry. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ruin it if you haven't seen it. I'm not even gonna really talk about it. <laughs> I will say I liked it. I mean, that's not new. I mean, most people, most people have heard that uh, other people like it. It, it. The the word is out at, by now that you know that most people enjoy the movie, and and for a lot of reasons that um, uh, that some people seem not to catch. But whatever. Um, we're we're in here. We are up against. Uh, not my favorite avatar. Uh, Mon... Monsimil? Monsimil. Monsimil. Keyfinger. Okay. Uh, we are doing the Red Deck Wins deck, uh, which uh, last episode did not do as well as I thought it would. I, it's not even like this is a new deck. It's like a great deck. It, it honestly is amazing and old, and I've and I've been using it forever, and it's just... I had two, two games there where it just <laughs> ran into a wall. Um... All right, no plays. Turn two. This guy's playing blue, so he's def we're up definitely against a control. Um, gonna be saving my twin bolt for the inevitable. I, I don't know, flying creature. I'm assuming it's gonna be a thopter of some kind, or a couple of thopters. But uh, we'll we'll have to deal with that when the time comes. Hmm. Not really. What what do we turn three? No plays. Oh man. Well, I mean. I have way too many lands in this hand, by the way. That that should be obvious. Uh, doesn't even matter if he counters this, because I will still get a plus one, plus one on my Matering Bully. And, I mean, he won't counter it if he has some kind of wipe. He's thinking about it, though. Hmm. Really wondering what's going on here. Uh, I guess I would counter it. It is still too damage, unless you have some other way to take care of it. I think this is the right move from him. Uh, at this point, he should definitely know what I'm playing. And it won't do him any good. <laughs> no good at all. The other option was Majoring Bully, but um, I'm going to hold on to that for a little bit because I have a feeling that he has some way of taking care of my current Majoring Bully. Uh, he, ooh, Gideon. Wow. An unprotected Gideon. What the fuck? Oh, right, no, it can't protect itself. Herpeter! Herpeter! <clears throat> well, that's the problem. Oh, jeez, see, now that's... 
Oh man, dude. I feel like you you, you done goofed here. I feel like you done goofed. Do you think you done goofed? Hmm. What's the best way to take care of this? I need to get rid of the 2-2 if I'm going to do any damage to him. So the only way to do that is with a twin bolt. The problem with doing that... No, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I can do it this way. And I'm going to fill up the board too, which is not a problem for me. And then I can keep the Titan Strength open next turn. And that is it for your Gideon. Not a bad play, I don't think. I don't think he's been playing badly. He didn't know what I have. Uh, yeah, that's going to Gideon. Thank you very much. That is correct. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to want that damage going right over here. <laughs> Shitting out a 2-2 two -two every turn is, is not what I, what I consider a good day. <laughs> he is, unfortunately, watching damage effects, which kind of tells me that he's maybe a newer player, but he's not playing stupid, so maybe he's... New to the format, he's just not new to magic. Okay, well, he's a slow player. I can give him that. <laughs> he's super slow. Did it just bug out on us? Are you serious? First game out of the box, and it's already bugging? What's going on here? Come on. Oh, duels. Duels. Did he leave? Maybe he just took off. Monsimal. Monsimil. Permanently watching damage effects. Never going... I mean, I have no other plays this turn. It's just going to end. I'm hoping he just left. This is stupid. Well, this might be a good place to just cut it for a bit. <laughs> uh, should I do that? Should I just cut it for a little while? Okay, that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, guys. Um, I will unpause this uh, when something happens. And we're back. He uh, he took off. <laughs> Very nice. Glad that he did, too. He was really pissing me off. Um, yeah, he's, he's long gone. All right, so uh, he lost Gideon. Oh, he's going to make me pick up my... Uh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, I can still take that thing out. Sort of. Oh, now I definitely can. Do I have enough? I do. But actually... Well, I can... All right, first things first. Swing in, okay? You always swing in. You, you always do the most obvious play first. Well, maybe not always. Maybe, maybe. So. Hey, wait a minute! I didn't even check. Look at look at the size of this guy's deck. He's not a good player. What the hell? He's got way too many cards. Aw, dude, dude, dude. Well, that's just silly. That's just a big dum dum, isn't it? Now I'm upset. Uh, but he's probably dead next turn. <laughs> the likelihood of him being dead next turn is too damn high. <laughs> uh, damage effect, massive, massive card pile. I, I should have. Should have seen that coming uh, a while ago, and I feel kind of bad that I didn't. Uh, all the warning signs were there, guys. I, I don't know what I was thinking. We're just going to wipe everything out today. Just going to wipe it all out. And I'm even, I'm even going to do this pre-combat because there's just no point not to. I should have put the aura on one of the tokens. If, if I had been giving a shit, uh, that would have been the right play. Nah, I don't need that. Well, I hope I don't get a land instead, but I don't need that guy. Um, this guy's dead anyway, I think. I'm not counting it. I'm assuming he's dead. I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is more than 15 damage. I have not counted it. I don't know exactly what he's down to. Negative three. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's good. So I guess it was, what, 18 damage? That's fine. I like 18 damage. 18 damage works for me. Oh, man. Wow, that's a lot of coins. <laughs> a lot of things happened. Let's, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boom. Let's get in there with a, a real opponent this time. Let's, let's do a real thing. Uh, like, I, I mean, if you watch my channel regularly, you, you know that I don't really like playing decks like this. That these, oh, is this the same guy? Oh, I don't remember if that's the same background. Last episode, I thought I was playing the same guy and it ended up not being the same guy. I, I figured that one out in post, so. That made me sad. They did end up playing the same deck, but... And I think they had the same avatar, too. I'm not sure. Mm, I don't remember. I don't remember nothing. Waiting for player to join the match. Like, isn't isn't that always... Wow, rank zero, and he already took off. That... <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> what? Uh, is this keepable? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I only have two... I only have two creatures... 
this is this is a weird one. I am first though. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep this. All right, I, I'm keeping this strictly because I play first, and playing first means a lot to me. And and I got a lot of pump up here. So b because I can have a few weak creatures early on, I can pump the shit out of them uh, as the game goes on. Now I I really need more damage, so I'm gonna go with the uh, the dragon fodder over the goblin arsonist. Uh, our opponent, uh, unfortunately, is an AI, but is fortunately still uh, able to play and has a normal-sized deck. And playing black, white, white, not too scary. Black, a little bit more scary, but only because of language, really. Okay, I got a few options here. I got a few options here. I can pump up, smack him for eight, scry two. No, we're not going to do that. We're we're just going to play it a little bit less aggressive and more aggressive next turn. That's how we're going to do it. Uh, put that down pre-combat. That was a misplay. Don't do that. Don't. There was no reason to. But uh, Goblin Arsonist just he, he was just angry. He he was really upset. He needs to be out of my hand. He's so sick of me. Like he and I, he was really mad at me for a long time. So I had I had to give him a break and let him out of the house for a bit. No plays turn three. That's scary. Okay, so we're going to swing in. <clears throat> probably to a trap. Don't know what the trap is. I'm going to give him a minute to do anything. No plays. So last second, we're going to pump up my dudes. Let's. Go. This is going to resolve before I cast the next one. I don't want that. I want more creatures. And then that's going to res... Well, I mean, I guess that's just going to resolve. Uh, yeah, that's a creature. I'll keep that. And then twin bolt for two whenever I need it. This guy's probably dead. <laughs> I mean, he's got to take care of the board. Uh, I'm really surprised. No, no turn three. He has a turn four play. That's not important to me. And that'll be game. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, <laughs> that was um, <clears throat> a really easy game. Uh, I will do one more after this. At least one more. I'm going to try to do uh, three games an episode instead of just 30. I I've been timing the episodes. So they usually go up to like uh, 30 minutes, because it takes about 10 minutes per game, roughly on average, uh, with a normal deck. With this deck, it's a little different. As you can see, it's just, you know, boom, 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 real fast, man. This is the way the deck is supposed to be playing, not like not like last time. This is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nope, missed it, damn it. Um, last episode, that was an embarrassing episode, man, not going to lie. I was, I was really, like... Pumping up this deck, I was like, "Yeah, we're gonna get in there. We're gonna smash heads. We're gonna we're gonna make coins like nobody's business." And then I get in there, and I only win one game out of three, and I'm <laughs> holy crap. Uh, well, you know it happens, guys. That's just just the way it happens, you know. But uh, I will tell you honestly, 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 this is probably the best deck. Oh, hey, I got the new. Uh, I got uh, I got bonded construct in this in this pile. I have three plays. Can't attack alone. So it'd be Foundry Hunter, then Construct. He plays first. Okay, I'll give this a shot. Uh, three creatures plus a bunch of Dragon Fodders. Uh, one more land would make this a little bit better. Not too unusual for me to grab at least one more land. Uh, gonna be Street Denizen full show. Because he's going to be growing pretty much no matter what I get here. Like, everything I put down is going to be decent. Our opponent is playing white. Ooh, mono white? Possibly mono white. Erisdal. Ooh, I like that name. That's very pretty. Erisdal. Uh, first strike is no fun. First strike kind of sucks. Hmm. First strike, huh? Well, in that case... In that case... I could put down a Goblin Arsonist. No, but he's going to get Ren Renown. No, nah, screw it. Yeah, it is going to be in a Goblin Arsonist. I was thinking of putting down a Bonnie Construct so that he does swing in. But um, I need the Goblin Arsonist because next turn it can actually swing in and, and, and hit him. Because uh, if he swung into me, then I can swing into him a little bit harder by... by well, not actually harder. I still would need uh, <laughs> I still would need another land, which I'm probably not going to get. Uh, for a little while, but that's okay. We still have plenty of plays. Unfortunately, it is one play a turn, which kind of sucks. Uh, Nimbus Wings 
super sucks, actually. That's a big problem. Now I really do need a land. Because he's going to be coming in here. Now he's got like a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. Alright, so it isn't it isn't Mono White. It is Selesnia. Whenever he attacks, other creatures get pumped. Okay, that isn't an issue yet, but it will be very soon. Uh, the most damage long term will probably be the Street Denizen again. And if he's going to be swinging into me, I might as well make it as punishing to him as possible for him to swing in. So he's hitting me for four. Next turn, I'm only hitting him for three. We are sort of even for now. Uh, the one land hand is starting to become a little more relevant. Uh, I do need Call of the Full Moon out. Dragon Fodder wouldn't hurt, but I think I would. I think I would choose Call of the Full Moon first. Because it's a little more dam- well, actually, is it? Long term, I think Dragon Fodder is actually more damage. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, he's he's definitely got a renowned renown, renown kick going on. <clears throat> this is a problem, you guys. I'm not- I'm not- I'm not being happy right now. <laughs> this is issues. Uh, definitely need a land. Uh, normally this deck does not mind a one land hand. Right now, in this particular situation, uh, I need it. I need it bad, baby. I need it so bad. <sighs> he's gonna out. He's he's gonna outgun me. I'm gonna drop that as defense. Don't think I need it though. Maybe actually, bonded construct might have been better play. Hmm. Blocking, ah, uh, gosh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that was the right move. I am now officially behind. Uh, this is probably a loss. So if you were playing, uh, you could. Oh, this, well, actually, that might. I mean, I, I still need to land. That is a lot of damage. Four, five, six, seven. So that's more than half. So what? I'm down to six. Ouch. Well. Hmm. Man. I think I think this is a loss, guys. I don't I don't I mean I'm dead next turn. Yeah, and still no land, so I mean I can pump it up and I could swing for a, a bit, but just nowhere near enough. Not 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 what I got here, man. Oh well. That doesn't count. Oh, it has to be a red creature. Yeah, I gotcha. Alright, well, uh, good got job from my opponent. He definitely got me. Um, sucks to suck, man. Sucks to suck. That's too bad. Uh, I feel like I could have won. Um, it, it was a bit of a risk with that one land hand. Honestly, I, I, I knew it was risky, but usually with that deck, not a big deal. I mean, yeah, all right, yes. You can definitely point a finger and say, hey, you know what, Fravis, you're only running 16 lands. Like, what the hell do you expect? Well, I don't need many lands. Over a course of like a... F Shit, I just totally missed that. <laughs> God damn it. Um, over the course of a, uh, five-turn game, uh, you know, assuming that the game is over within, like, I don't know, turn seven or so, um, you don't really need to have that many lands. In fact, more than three lands in, in that span of a game is actually a waste. That means you're picking up dead cards. I got one! <laughs> that's right, bitch. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Feels good. What else did I get? I got a Breaker of Armies. Don't really care about that card. It's just a big-ass Trampler. Uh, I got some land fixing. Any any colors I care about? Demir? Eh. Not really. What else did I get? What else did I get? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, it looks like not much. Ooh, I hate that card. That card's stupid. So just a 4-4 sometimes gets Menace. I guess I could build an ally deck at some point. That might be fun. But the allied decks, the best allied decks is uh, white red, and they didn't really look like they we had enough there. Another one of these wind patrols. These are pretty good. Great in draft. It's a damn decent card. Not sure how it works out in this format. So I'll have to make a blue deck at some point. Uh, anything else that's interesting that I grabbed? Uh, another ghostly sentinel. That's not interesting at all. Okay. Well, that'll do it for this episode, guys. I am actually going to, to record one because I'm going to be gone next week. So, um, I'm going to start recording episodes now for next week. Uh, I'll try to I'll try to do five, but we'll see how much time I got. Um, I actually am a bit on a deadline today, so whatever. 
Love you guys. See you in the next episode.